Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and stay tuned by clicking the bell icon. Speculation swirls around Daniel and meth and attack on Coronation Street. Coronation Street has hinted at who may have attacked evil abuser Nathan Curtis in its latest episode. Bethany was horrified to learn last week that her groomer slash abuser Nathan had been released from prison, leading her to suspect he was responsible for Lauren's disappearance. Wednesdays, May 15, installment saw Bethany continue trying to prove that Nathan was somehow involved in Lauren's disappearance. She turned to former Flame and police officer, Craig Tinker for information on Nathan's alibi, only for Craig to accidentally reveal Nathan was with his girlfriend at a nearby nail salon. This revelation only fueled Bethany's theories, as he was running a tanning salon when he was grooming her a few years ago. Nathan eventually confronted Bethany for harassing his girlfriend, leading to a quiet discussion in the rovers between Gary, Sarah, and David. The trio decided something needed to be done about Nathan before Bethany threw her life away trying to prove his guilt. In a scene that took place at the building site where Nathan works, viewers saw a mysterious figure approach Nathan before knocking him over the head. Once Bethany and her family found out about the attack, David was shown shifting uncomfortably as he tried to feign concern. While it looked like David could have been responsible for hurting Nathan, Bethany started to suspect it was Daniel after learning from Ryan he'd once attacked Daisy's stalker Justin. Bethany confronted Daniel over his past violence, with Daniel realizing that his romantic rival Ryan must have been the one to share this gossip. This realization led to a heated confrontation between Ryan and Daniel in the pub, which was only broken up by two police officers showing up to question Daniel about Nathan's attack. Daniel tried to convince D.S. Swain that he had nothing to do with Nathan's hospitalization, and while he was released pending investigation, Bethany said she needed a break after seeing his temper. I don't like that side of you, Daniel, it's scary, Bethany admitted. Meanwhile, Sarah started questioning whether David was responsible for the attack after spotting a dark red stain on his pants, though he played it off like he'd spilled hair dye. Sarah asked David directly if he'd attacked Nathan, but her brother insisted. I haven't, but I'll tell you what. I'll buy the book a pint who has. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and share.